Hi everybody, Wing over here. All right, so we debut the Matador 8040N on Thursday. And ever since I um, posted the photos and the videos, I've read um, some of the comments. So I just wanna answer all the questions, just a few, yeah, over the weekend. Uh, and I wanna answer all the questions um, using Facebook Live. I think it's a lot of fun. Really enjoy it. Uh, so the first question, um, when people said, will there be an automatic version coming out of the Matador? And the answer is yes, okay? Uh, the 50 millimeter will have an automatic version, and we're modifying the movement from the NX35. Uh, it's gonna be something different um hopefully you all will like it and when is it coming it's gonna come uh in the next couple months february march it depends on the lined up um so that's question number one and then i also heard um other people ask can you make the matador in a smaller version so about six months ago we introduced uh, the Matador in the 42 millimeter, which is actually the first Matador. You know, we, I usually do large size first, and then uh, we make the smaller size later, depending on the popularity. So I've decided to do the Matador in the 42, and everybody was asking, can you make a larger case? So I came up with a 8040N, and then the next uh, will be the automatic version. So, um, so. I hope I answered the questions because I saw one of the posts on um, one of the feedback on the YouTube channel. That guy was saying like, do a poll. Uh, most people prefer 38, 40, 42. No, I totally agree with him. Uh, and that's the reason why Aragon has multiple sizes with our collections. So, you know, sometimes we have them in 48, 44, or sometimes we have them in 50, 45, 42. So we are making multiple sizes with some of our collections. How about that? I think that's fair. Um, the one I'm holding right now, this is the 42, I, and I will put it on my wrist so you can see the size pr perspective between the both sizes. And, was, um, and also, I, also uh, I saw another uh, feedback I think it's very, very cool. They said the 42 millimeter, the automatic version, NH37, that they've been wearing the watch and they didn't notice the AM, PM indicator at the 11 o'clock position. You see this underneath? Okay, so by the way, the one I'm showing is a 42 millimeter with the laser crystal. Okay, I just want to show you this, you know, the laser tinted blue, which is amazing, right? Uh, so, and let me show it to you, if I can do it, because of the reflection with the light. Now, right now, this is Facebook Live. I want to do more and more often with the Facebook Live. Maybe I was thinking in the future, and I hope you guys, I'm going to ask this question, I hope you guys have to take the time to answer and give me feedback below. What do you guys think in the future? I do the Facebook Live and then, um, you know, once a month or, you know, uh, once every two weeks that we'll pick a watch out from our inventory and do like a special prize for X amount of time, you know, within four hours or within two hours or whatever. You know, I'm just thinking out loud. So I want to hear your feedback. Uh, and um, and then we go from there. So now going back to the AMPA indicator. So I want to show it to you. I'll pull this out, right? So right now it's showing PM. I hope you can see it. The, the little hand at the 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. So now is AM. Now I did this on purpose, okay? I made it very, not very small, I wouldn't say that. It's noticeable, but it's not distractive on the dial. I made the hand a little bit 
smaller is because I always hear many of um, the watch enthusiasts, they said they like a clean dial, meaning they only want to see a three hand hour, minute and second. No day. I, I've had a lot of requests from the guy say, can you make an automatic watch just three hands only? So now, but without being off subject, I just want to point out the 42 millimeter Aragon Matador has a NH37 AM PM okay, indicator at between the 10 and 11 o'clock. The three o'clock is the date. So Sapphire Crystal for the Matador collection. All right, so I'm gonna put it back. So when I'm done with the Facebook Live, I know some of you might not have seen this collection. It's really interesting because we have new watches out every month, okay? So a lot of guys, if they miss our newsletter or our YouTube video, they may not know certain new designs that came out. So I'm gonna put on the 42 and then I'll put on the 50. Okay, this is 42. I really like it. And the quantity is running low, believe it or not. Um, it was debut, I would say about six months ago, six, seven months ago. If I go back to the YouTube, um, I look at the video, I'll know uh, which week or date uh, we debut this. Really good looking watch, you know, with the glide lock, um, screw down crown with a crown protector, rotating bezel. So this is more like, you know how the divers, the diver bezel. So this is more subtle in a way that we did it. And the laser tinted blue is my favorite out of all. It's really, really cool. I'm, I'm gonna make more and more of this, uh, the laser color. We've been making it over 20 years, you know, the laser crystal. So on the side, and I'm gonna put on the 50. Now the 50, even though is an oversized watch, all right, you can see it still fits me pretty good. Um, the great example is this term, I just learned this term from one of the uh, Aragon um, loyal customer, um, the female, because when he mentioned that to me, I was like, oh, and then I realized, okay, this is the correct term for, the, he's at the female link. Okay, you see how it's attached to the salt first hand link. Okay, so the difference between the 50 and the 42 is, you notice the donut sidewall, which is a unique feature to the 50 millimeter. This is a flat sidewall, right? All right, so, and everything else is pretty much the same except the sidewall and uh, the connection of the bracelet to the first hand link because it's an oversized and we want to make it contour around your wrist even more comfortable, more uh, like closely. All right, so it's also Sapphire Crystal, 8040N. Uh, you know, I, I talk about why I made this watch in the, the course version because of the cost of um, the movement. If it was an automatic, it will be automatic chronograph, I should say. It will be a lot more expensive. You know, a lot of times I hear a lot from all of you, and I thank you for that comment. They said, how does Aragon make our watches so affordable with the quality that we do? It's because we sacrifice a profit margin. You know, in, in, a, in a normal circumstance, you know, for example, if you go to a supermarket, buy a piece of steak, right, uncooked, probably like 10, $10, right? I'm just guessing. I mean, not guessing, I know how, how much it costs, but I'm just throwing the number out there. When you go into a restaurant, they probably charge you, you know, like 45 or 50, some of, you, some of the restaurants even more, right? But, and how does Aragon, you know, sell our watches at such an affordable price? So for example, if our cost of this watch is 10, we probably sell them for 12 or 11.50 or something like that. I'm just giving you an example how we, how we, you know, uh, 
we make very, very low profit margin. So people can afford some of the highest quality of our timepieces. So anyway, um, I, I tried it on and uh, I put both watches side by side, 42 versus 50 millimeter. And I hope I answer all your questions. We make multiple sizes in some of the collections. So I wanna emphasize this again and again. All right, so after the videos is, after I finish this video, I thank you for tuning in. I hope you subscribe to our channel, our Facebook, uh, give us a like, let, us, let me know. And then I'll put the link of these watches, okay, in the description area. So you can go and purchase uh, these watches in case you are not aware the collection has been out. Okay, I thank you. Uh, this is, uh, I hope I do a better job this time because last time when I did the Facebook Live, you know, the camera was just like moving or, you know, a little bit shaking. So I hope I've done a better job this time. All right, thank you. And I will see you very, very soon.